Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. Today we are going to talk about registry. What is registry? The database where all the settings of the windows are stored is called a registry. It is arranged in a hierarchical order to retrieve data whenever needed and used in the system. It has two parts, keys and the values. So registry's keys are the container objects like folders. Keys may contain values or further keys. These keys are referenced with the syntax like windows path names using backslashes to indicate levels of hierarchy. And on the values, registry values are non-container object like files. So understand your registry, uh, some sort of a book or a database or a directory. In that database, everything that you do in the terms of installation or in uh, any software that you uh, that is able to create some kind of uh, database in registry. Uh, so that database contains everything. For an example, you have a software which comes with a 15 days trial period. Now you install that 15 days trial period uh, software and this 15 days starts getting counted from the day you have installed it. Now after 15 days, what happens is they the software asks for a key or a license. And if you don't provide it, it stops running. Now, from where this software is getting the data that I was installed 15 days back, it's from the registry. So every day when you fire up this, uh, this software, it will check the registry that when I was installed, whether I have a, a license or not, and accordingly, it will behave. So sometimes what people do is they uninstall that software and then reinstall them. And they think that if I reinstall it, it might work, but that does not happen because when you reinstall that software, it will go to the registry. It will check whether it was installed previously or not. And from there, it will show you a message that your 15 days has been over. So that data, that information is coming from where? It's coming from registry. So when you install that software, it has created two things, the keys and the values. So these keys are referenced with a syntax like uh, there are path names with slashes. So let's say uh, there is one path, another path, and then a value. So it will be more clear when I'll show you uh, in, a, in the demo part. And values is something that is associated with key to identify. So that's how uh, it works, guys. Moving on to next part, what we are trying to do today is operations. So these five operations we'll be doing, we'll be reading from the registry, we'll be adding into registry, we'll be deleting from the registry, copying keys from the registry and comparing keys from the registry. So let's move on to demo. So today we are going to do is read, add, remove, copy and compare in the registry. So before moving further, what I want to tell you guys that uh, you should not do like uh, too much in registry because it contains all the information of the installation and with your operating system. And if somehow you delete something or you uh, edit something, so that can be a problem. So whatever I have told in this video, I think that won't affect any of your settings. So just make sure that apart from that you do not do because if you do not understand registry well, do not uh, make any changes because it can cause uh, some kind of uh, issue with your system. Okay, moving on. Uh, I'll explain you how do you reach out for registry. So just click this button, Windows button and type for reg or regedit, hard G or a soft G, any, anything of your choice. And what, if you can see this on your screen, hit enter. And these are the folder structure. So if you want to go somewhere, just click over here, 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 here inside. And this will form in the form of folder structure over here. And this is the value, okay. Now what we are, we are going to do is we'll do everything in the current user so that we do not affect anything and particularly in console part. So we are going to make any changes. So right now you can see in the console part there is nothing related to test data or test demo data. So what we'll do is we'll uh, try to read, add and do stuff over here. So let's get started. Now we'll just read it first. So the syntax is reg or reg query. This is the keyword and the root with the registry key and the whole path. So this is the whole path which we are going to query. 
So just let, let, let's just run it. 0, 1, enter. And this is a lot of data. So you might need all of this, you might not need, need this, but it is how you query a data or how you read a data. So there are a lot of things over here which might not be uh, beneficial for you, but this is how you run it. We just clean this. This is the interesting part where we add something to it. So right now I showed you in the registry that there is nothing known as demo data. So I'll make an entry over here. So the syntax is reg edit, sorry, add the path, the value, name, the data type or a separator if you want to add. That's what you do. So what we'll do is on the console part, we'll add something known as data demo. So this should be my value and this should be the description or whatever I'm describing about, about it. After that, we'll query it. So let's see if I query it right now, uh, sorry, query it after the, uh, after my command, will it run? We'll see that about that. So let's run it, 0 to hit enter, uh, tab, enter, and you can see the data demo is created. Sorry, created from here, and here you can see that it was able to successfully query it. Now, if I go to my registry, let's see what is there. So just refresh it. There is no refresh option, but you can click over here and there, and it will come. Come down, and you can see that there is something known as data demo. So my entry has been created in the registry. So that's how easy it is. Let's minimize this and we'll remove something. We'll remove the same thing. So make changes over here. I'll just save it. So the syntax is same, starts from reg or reg, whatever you call, try to call it. Delete is the keyword, the path and the value. So why we are giving slash f over here? So f slash f is force. So force is like it won't ask you to delete it or not. Yes or no, it won't ask. So that's why we are giving slash f over here. And what's the value over here? Data demo. So after deleting, we are going to query this. So once we query this, let's see what happens. I'll just clean this. I'll remove this 03, tab, enter. And we were successfully able to delete it. And once it query, get queried, it won't show anything. It would, it will show an error because there is nothing like that. I'll go over here. I'll check whether data demo is there or not. It's my cache thing. So I'll just refresh it and you can see that the data demo is gone. So that's how you remove an entry. Let's move on to copy. When you want to copy, you're copying something from some a source a machine uh, with a key and to something else. But it's not going to copy over here because there is no something known as test data. So let's create a test data. I'll go to add. I'll give some test data. Uh, let's see our, our name, logic ops. I'll control V. I'll just save it. I'll go to add. It's not run yet, right? CLS. I'll just 0 to tab, enter. And logic of entry has been created. Now I won't remove this, I'll just go to copy. I'll just make this entry logic ops over here. Now, once I do it, I'll just run it 04 tab enter. So everything that was in console is now present in logic ops. So here it queried logic ops and Everything that was present in console is over here right now. So that's how you copy stuff over here. You can see on my screen. You can try in your system. Now let's go to compare. So comparing, uh, did I walk you through the copy one? Yeah, I think I walked you. Let me walk you over again. Source machine, the root key and the key, uh, reg uh, registry key. Let me spell this right. And same reg key and registry key is the same thing. Destination machine root. That's what happened over here. Okay. Let's move on to compare. Now compare uh, is again the same thing. Uh, it just the compare is the keyword that we add over here. Same path and the key name and the path and the key name. This is the source one. This is the destination one that you want to do. So right now let's talk about running this. Okay. So what is going to happen is we'll run it 05 enter. So what it did is in the console, let me give it logic ops over here because it read everything that was created 
differently so it gave us the different result so let me compare this with logic ops and you can see the result is identical why it is identical because in the previous section whatever there was in console i moved it to a new entry known as logic ops and that's why it's identical but in the previous one when i was trying to compare it data or something data demo or something it was failing why because okay now it's not able to even find it out why because there is nothing known as data demo over there right now i kind of deleted it let's test right so that's what it compared so you can see the three results over here first result is different that it does not meet uh, when while comparing it does not meet the same thing identical is exactly the same thing which i showed you on the creation of logic ops and on the third part there was no entry such as uh, data demo and it was not able to show i'll run it again and you can see it is different so this is what we have been talking about so i think you have understood what i was trying to say if you feel any kind of issue or a problem or a question please feel free to drop your question in the comment section and we'll address it thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video